Hey guys, Emmanuel McIntosh here. As you can tell, I am sick. <laughs> and I didn't want to um, postpone these predictions any longer. I've already postponed them for quite a while. I've made them uh, quite a while ago, but I haven't been able to put it all together in text form, which I did now. And I will post this on my website blog if you want to have a text overview of everything. Um, and on my Patreon page, but I wanted to get them out there despite the fact that I just want to go to bed. <laughs> um, so I apologize for the delay. Uh, we've just been, my whole family are, is sick right now, and we just haven't, uh, we've had a lot of um, unexpected challenges these last month, uh, last two months about. So um, basically all my plans that I had for writing a book and everything has been kind of falling apart and I've just had to surrender to it. But I do feel a great urge to bring these predictions uh, to you because, you know, you guys know predictions uh, can be changed, altered. They are warnings from spirit and basically they are saying, look, the way collectively the energies are going for you. Um, there, this is uh, the most probable outcome. This is the most probable um, effect uh, result of those energies. And so they, they give these warnings so we can change them, alter them, because it is within our power, with the power of our mind, the power of the energy we send out, the focus, the intentions, our prayers, all of that has an energetic influence uh, and can change and alter certain things we wish not to experience or we as a collective do not see, uh, you know, the benefit of it. But um, that's why, you know, I get so many people are like, oh, these predictions didn't come true. You suck. Well, you know, I'm happy <laughs> they didn't come true. That means we altered them. We changed them. Somebody looked at our predictions and intentionally, uh, collectively tried to change it. So um, I hope some of these don't come true because you know a lot of predictions are usually very kind of doomsday scenarios and can you know hurt and 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 bring a lot of harm to people so but we have to uh, express them so we can change them that's the whole point okay and certain things uh, are positive and uh, we can reinforce so they do come out and they do um, come into our uh, reality so just keep that in mind, okay? Also, we live in a multi-dimensional reality. So although we, every single per, uh, person you know, for example, um, that you're co-creating with, they're also living in their own reality. They all have tapped into, how would I explain it? Um, parallel realities of the same earth that might be just a little bit different than the other one. It depends on your personal vibration, your personal frequency. And that's why you get so many Mandela effects now. Um, and I explain that why there's so many right now in my Patreon post, if you wanna go see that in detail, it's basically because a lot of us are coming from a reality where our reality was destroyed <laughs> because of scientists, thank you very much. And so they just decided it wasn't our time to go home yet, our, our mission wasn't over yet, so we just place our consciousness into a parallel reality that was very similar to our previous one. And we just woke up the next morning not knowing that we just shifted. But we're, according to spirit, we do that a lot. We keep shifting according to our different frequencies. And that's when you get these Mandela effects. We're like, hey, that wasn't like that. Okay, so in a Mandela effect, both parties are right. <laughs> it depends on uh, which timeline you came from or, you know, have been in or all of that. So anyway, if you want more detailed explanations about that, or you wait till my book comes out and uh, it'll be all in there in detail. Um, but um, that's why predictions can be tricky as well because in certain realities it will come to pass and in other realities it won't and you're still co-creating despite the fact that you might be on these slightly different parallel versions of earth kind of hard to wrap your head around but that's just kind of how it is now um, I'm kind of brushing through this because I'm <laughs> really not feeling great so please forgive me okay I'm trying my best um, <clears throat> also, um, the last, the previous predictions I posted on November 2022, that was for 2023, but as many of you who have been following me for a while have noticed that I, I do always write two years. 
So the last predictions were from 2023, 2024. So um, because sometimes things are postponed, but they'll still happen or they're still meant to happen because certain things that are negative will be reinforced by galactic energy because it'll lead to something good in the end. Um, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind, okay? So certain predictions that I've made last year, um, because I wrote 2023, 24, will kind of return um, in this new prediction for 2024. Um, I'm not doing 2025 for some reason. I feel like this is just 2024. So we'll see. <laughs> for some reason, I, I didn't feel the urge to write 2024, 2025. I feel like 2025 is gonna be completely different. This, 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 this shift happening at the end of this year, um, for many, many people, some people will continue in the 3D, but for the majority of people, um, there's a massive shift coming. So one of these predictions that I made in 2022 for 2023 was a new Pope. Okay, so what I wrote down in the predictions for 2023 is that he, the current Pope was going to either become ill or either his soul was going to choose to, uh, to, transition um and so what did i write here uh current pope was going to get ill or that either he was going to resign due to health problems or his soul would choose to transition and that a new fall a new pope would be chosen um they did say that the new elected pope will be very conservative uh, and will undo a lot of the things that the previous pope changed and this will infu infuriate many religious followers of the church resulting in a huge exit of believers and this will be the beginning of the fall of the catholic church um, now this will take some years okay this will take some years to get finalized the, ch the, the church is not going to fall in one year but it's almost going to be like this is going to be the stone that makes that makes it all start to fall down okay so one thing will lead to another and of course uh once that starts tumbling down uh it'll change completely the world and you know that's been very always been very based on religious beliefs and uh, and so on. So it seems to be very significant that this is going to bring in kind of a a new thing, a new world in some way or form. Okay. Um, what I also predicted last year was that the King Charles reign will be very short. Um, and that uh, because one, he doesn't have all the support of his British subjects. Um, and, but also I wrote last year, information will be leaked that put him in a very bad light, which will result in King Charles being forced to resign or give up his throne to uh, his son, William, I'm assuming. So that's still, they told me that is still a thing that's about to happen or that's supposed to happen. Okay, I don't think, um, <laughs> I don't know. That's what they said. <laughs> supposed to happen okay um, but yeah information will be leaked uh, that will just people are gonna be in fear I mean I just feel a lot of anger in this in England a lot of I don't it's just I just see like people getting angry taking on the streets really going after you know really yeah it, it's not gonna be good okay Sorry, what else did I write down? Okay, so um, they told me, yeah, so the inflation, poverty and hunger worldwide is going to continue to go up, I wrote. Unfortunately, cost of food, housing, utilities, let's just pretty much say everything we need to live, will continue to rise globally, which will lead to an unprecedented global problem of poverty, homelessness and hunger. And although this will be global, the United States of America will seem to be hit the worst because they are very limited. They have they have very limited systems set in place to help their own people. In other words, this inflation, which is based on lies and deceit, manipulation, will continue to spiral out of control with the intention to create monopolies run by the wealthy and making people fully dependent on them. But this year should be the start of a renewed sense of compassion 
and working together in order to survive, eventually leading to massive protests and riots globally as people are stripped from their basic human rights. In a way, human revolution will start and from this reunification process of the human race based on a renewed source of love, compassion, and respect for all your neighbors and friends will grow. The age of forced division, separation, and judgment will slowly but surely come to an end and the dark forces will, who have already lost a lot of power will start fleeing the masses. Hence why they are building underground bunkers. Now this year we should see through the suffering a renewed feeling of compassion and helping each other and this will lead to all the other things mentioned above in the year to follow 2025. So, yeah, it's just, you know, it's tough for a lot of people and it's just only get, get tougher, but it is going to push humanity into saying, you know what, we're not taking this anymore. We will unite, we will take care of each other and we will, um, in a way, revolt against the oppression on a global scale. And that's what's going to unite people in love, compassion and unity. I think that's it. Then they told me about European elections. Um, <clears throat> they said in Europe, as poverty rates and unemployment rates rise, right wing parties will start to see significant increase in popularity as people have not seen any improvements with those parties who have been in charge for years. This will lead to more strict approach to immigration and refugee policies and result also in a migration of Europeans within Europe. So basically, Europeans, because there's no borders, they're gonna try and find the best country that suits their needs. Um, so we should see a lot of Europeans shifting countries within Europe. So, because, you know, they're just gonna try and, and find a way to live a better life, you know? That's just that's what we try to do, right? We just wanna be okay. Um, then the American elections. It, <laughs> I'm sorry, but American elections are always like, it's like a soap opera with you guys. <laughs> I love you guys, but man, um, okay, this is, don't shoot the messenger, okay? <coughs> this is what they made me write down. A very nasty, unrespectful, and degrading battle between Biden and Trump will lead to massive unrest and conflict between American voters. The energies regarding these elections are so unstable right now that it can still go in many directions or even result in an unexpected new president <laughs> regardless of the outcomes of all worldly elections we just want to remind you again that no leader will change your reality only you can by your individual choices and beliefs and by working together united in love they want they wanted you to always keep that in mind that elections we, the people, control what, what happens in the world, not those few that are elected, okay? Then, six, refugees. Okay, this one really, ah, I hope I don't get canceled over this. If I do, oh well. <laughs> but I, I have to say what they said. I, I mean, I'm even like, what? I mean, I don't know what to think about this one, but this is what they said, so I wrote it down, so I'm sharing it with you. I've never heard of anything like this, but okay. Okay, this is what they said. I'm scared to read this. Now, as more and more focus goes to immigration and refugees uh, and immigration policies in Europe, people start to question why the majority of the refugees are young men young soldiers and not women and children. Suspicion rises within governments and citizens. What they will discover will shock the world, but should also prevent a planned invasion 
and takeover of Europe from within. Okay, enough said about that. Let's move on to the next one. Economy. Okay, don't shoot the message. Seriously. I mean, sometimes I'm like, what? Okay, if you say so, I'll just write it down. But that's what they said. Okay, economy, number seven. The economy remains unstable globally, resulting in stock markets struggling, the American dollar struggling, but also American financial institutions and some European ones will continue to struggle and crumble, and the world will see and continue... And wait, Hold on. The world will see a continuous increase of cash payments as people start to take a stand against the dark forces desire to create complete financial control of all souls through a global digital currency and the removal of physical money. That's what I'm doing. I'm only paying cash now with for everything. <laughs> but um, apparently I, I'm not the only one who thinks that way. This will also lead to a to the value of cryptocurrency dropping greatly. Now, I don't know anything about cryptocurrency. They've always told me to stay away from it, but apparently the value of crypto is going to drop massively. Russia, China, and the Middle East will continue to strengthen their economy as they continue to work together and use this modality, the, this economic tool, to try and block the United States attempt to become the only world leader. There you have it. Okay, and then natural disasters, of course. So as a result of Earth's natural shift, okay, this is not, okay, this is not the global warming lie, okay, this is the Earth's natural shift. However, combined, they say, with storms intentionally created in order to support the global warming lie, you should see some massive changes in the Earth's landscape this year. Landslides, a heightened volcanic activity, floods, and earthquakes will dominate this year's weather patterns. It says the African continent and Iceland will continue to split. Like never before seen, the American continent will see an increase of intensified earthquakes and floods on the west coast, massive floods and extreme cold weather on the east coast, another hurricane reaching Florida, very powerful tornadoes in Texas, Oklahoma, and Mississippi, but also European countries will experience for, 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 for many for the first time small tornadoes leaving destruction in their path. The UK, Belgium, France, and Germany will be surprised by this never before seen phenomena. Europe will also suffer greatly under massive floods and landslides. The northern countries like Sweden, Norway, Denmark, etc. will experience warmer temperatures during the summer and an increase of newly formed natural hot springs. Tunisia or Turkey, I, I really couldn't get clarity on that. They kept showing me a country with TU, but I couldn't figure out is it Tunisia or is it Turkey? So I'm just mentioning them both, okay? Uh, we'll also see another massive earthquake that will take many lives and Australia, Hawaii, and California will struggle with forest fires that will be intentionally started. Um, new islands will also slowly start to emerge due to volcanic activities below the ocean surface. <clears throat> okay. They didn't talk about um, lands going under the ocean. That they didn't talk about. They just talked about new islands coming up. So we should not get to a point where, for example, California disappears under the ocean. I don't think we're there. <laughs> However, with all the floods coming, I 
don't think it's a good idea to buy any new properties by the coastline or by any kind of water source, to be honest. But that's my personal opinion. That's not what, what Spirit said, okay? So let that be clear. Um, okay, number nine, cardiovascular and neurological problems, cancers, and infertility rises. Unfortunately, due to the... Um, uh, the amount of va cardiovascular problems, neurological problems, fast-growing cancers, and infertility numbers rise exponentially. Of course, they're not going to mention that on regular TV, but just do your own research. This will push more and more people to take better care of their bodies, look towards na nature's medicine and healthier food habits, and holistic practices to prevent illness and heal their physical bodies. That said, here comes the sad part that they told me. Many souls will also choose to exit this dimensional plane and transition rather than having to go through the very difficult and massively challenging process of ascension. Okay, a lot of us are ascending this year. This is the last year. A lot of people are saying that the timelines are already splitting up. That's not what I'm getting. They are telling me they are splitting up towards the end of the year. It is a 12 year cycle. This is the last year where the timelines are that close that we can hop from third dimension, fourth dimension into fifth dimensional reality, okay? We're still gonna have ups and downs there, okay? It's not, it's not perfect. We still choose to have a dual reality, but it's going to be much more, um, according to our desired uh, experiences easier to anyway just go look it up <laughs> go to my page on page or wait for my book um it's all in detail over there uh, explained okay i'm just too sick to get it all out there okay my apologies so a lot of people are going to choose to exit um, that means we're going to have very high death uh, numbers. This is uh, the soul, these are the souls choosing to transition now and to come back <laughs> reborn into the fifth dimension instead of going through um, <coughs> the process of you know the cleansing and the healing and the ascending and it's a very painful process as many of you have <laughs> been experiencing for the last couple of years it's uh it's challenging and it's difficult but some of us chose to go through that in order to help on a collective scale in order to help um, other planets other species as well because what we're doing is something that's never been attempted before um, usually ascension of a planet ha happens when um, there's not a lot of life left on the planet but we decided let's do it let's try it and see what happens and everybody's looking in awe at how our little humans are accomplishing this because we are succeeding so don't give up almost we're almost there people so um it says here okay so man world transition people will start to notice this increase not by the media saying, look how many people are dead, but we're going to notice it through the high amount of celebrities that will transition this year. I mean, they're really like talking to me like almost every day you're going to see somebody who, you know, who's been known or, I mean, one's going to be known more than the other, but there's always going to be like somebody dying every day. It's, it's just going to be like, wow, these people are dropping like flies. Um, that's how we're going to notice the high amount of souls choosing to go home and then be reborn straight into the five dimensional plane. Okay. And some people probably think I'm a nutball. That's okay. I still love you. Okay. New species. This is something positive. On a good note, new aquatic creatures will be discovered in the ocean. And new land and a new land species will be discovered in the region around Peru. So I did write not sure on the country. They always kind of show me kind of what the country looks like, but I'm pretty sure it was Peru. It's one. It's on my bucket list, Peru. So I'm kind of like I like Peru, but somewhere in that area. So I'm. Let's just say South America, but a new land species will be discovered. 
And I didn't write this down, but what they said was, um, every time humans discover a new species, it kind of re reminds humans that, look, with or without you, <laughs> this world's gonna continue to reinvent itself. This planet's gonna continue to manifest life with or without your help. Um, and um, it's kind of a wake up call that, you know, people, humans always think they know everything and they have it all figured out and it's just new species will come, you know, other species have disappeared, although they're not really gone. A lot. When there's not many left, the ETs move them to, a, to an area where it's safer on this planet, but not an area that we know about. Get it, get it. But um, again, if you're interested in all that, go to my Patreon page. That's where you get all that info. Okay, over 200 um, posts are on there right now. Okay, but that's good news, right? New, 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 new creatures. It's just cool. Okay, and then another thing that's good is new medical advances with AI. <sighs> okay, now this is what they wrote. Don't shoot the messenger. Now, AI can be as beneficial as it can be destructive. At this time of the human evolution, it is important to understand that we recommend AI to only be used to help improve medical problems, as you should see this happen this year. You should see protests against the usage of AI in many other ways and jobs, especially creatively, as it will endanger a lot of artistic jobs of today, okay? What they did, I didn't write that down, but what they did kind of make me feel is that we're not ready for AI in all of its usage. We're just not there. We're, we can do it, but as a human race, we're not ready to do it in a responsible way. Okay, so they are simply only recommending it to be used for medical purposes only. We can set that intention. We can create that, okay? We can stop it being used for other things than medical issues, okay? You have that power, people. Never underestimate your power. And then ET presence. Now, this was already mentioned last year. More and more confirmation will be given about ET presence within our world by government, government institutions, NASA, etc., etc. Okay, this will continue. This will continue. However, don't be fooled by human imitative. Okay, leave it at that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, I can't say too much because otherwise they're gonna. YouTube's already threatened me twice. Third time's a the charm, then I'm out of here. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see what happens after this video. Okay. Then, okay, then they said something weird. They said days of darkness. Hackers will attempt, or uh, it depends whether or not they succeed, will probably depend on us. I'm not really sure. And I'm not sure, really sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing either. So it's up to you what you guys think. Hackers will attempt to create three days of internet disruption uh, or all communications to be down for a large part of the world. So they're gonna, I guess, hack the system and just shut everything down. No more internet communication, no more telephone communication. I, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Maybe they're gonna attack the satellites. I'm not really sure, but there's gonna be some kind of hacking going on that's going to create three days of darkness if you wanna look at it that way. And then last, oh no, not last, I thought it was the last one. <laughs> I almost thought I was ready to go to bed. Okay, uh, law and order in Canada. Okay, this was not very pleasant. In Canada, Trudeau will implement law, more and more law and order in his country, creating new adjusted laws, limiting more and more the freedom of its citizens, and creating massive conflict within its own parliament members, like parliament. I, I don't know how it all works there, but parliament over something where politicians will start fighting amongst each other. It's just not very good. This will lead to a large amount of Canadians leaving Canada to create a life in some other country, unfortunately. 
And then last, oh, this was the last. Okay, very strong solar activity, just kind of like we saw last year. Very strong solar activity creates massive changes within the Schumann resonance, which we will feel on a physical level. It can be challenging when that happens. It's happening actually right now. Who knows, this might be why I'm sick. I'm not really sure. Although they keep telling me we're getting downloads and they keep us sick so we wouldn't, we wouldn't do too many activities and just sleep, sleep, sleep. So if you're feeling sick, that might be the reason too, because we're having massive downloads right now. Anyway, but they're saying that unfortunately this solar activity will create massive problems for the navigation tools within airplanes. So if you don't need to be on an airplane, try and avoid it this year. Okay. All right. That's it. Ta-da. I made it through. All right. I'm going to post these on my Patreon page as well, and I will put them on my blog on my website as well. I have a free website app that you can download on your phone. If you go on your phone to my website, EmmanuelMacintosh.com, it'll say that there's a free app if you want to download it. That way, if I do post something on my blog, because I don't post on Facebook much anymore, or Instagram, I don't, I don't want to keep feeding those things that are um, violating all of our uh, privacy rights and all of that stuff and constantly attacking us for what we're saying. I just don't want to, I don't want to keep feeding all of that. So, I mean, I still have it if I have important announcements about when I'm reopening my schedule and all of that, but I don't post much on it anymore. Not much. Okay. So, um, if you do want to keep track of everything, then I recommend my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Emmanuel Macintosh, or you just go, uh, download my free website app blog, um, and that way um, you keep in touch with me and everything I receive and announcements and all of that beautiful stuff, okay? Um, Last but not least, I want to thank everybody. I had some great gifts from Germany. Oh my God, so many great, wonderful gifts um, from America. Vicky and Braley and Kim and Ina and um, Tammy and uh, oh my God, so many. Uh, Brenda and I, I just can't even. You know, there's so many cards and little gifts that were sent to us over the holidays. I We are so appreciative and grateful. So many uh, little donations that were given to us. Um, thank you so much. Um, we've all been able to use it all. And we're just grateful that we have people like you that continue to love us and support us. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. And to everybody... Uh, I, I don't like saying Happy New Year because to me it's not really New Year yet. To me, <laughs> New Year is when spring starts. <laughs> I don't celebrate New Year really. Um, I don't do New Year's resolutions. And I, uh, ever since I was a kid, I just don't like New Year. It doesn't feel right to me. It's not new because it's just a continuation of gloomy, dark, rainy, cold days. And um, for me, New Year is towards the end of March, beginning of April. I don't know why I feel that way, but I've felt that way since I was a child. <laughs> My dad always got mad at me because I didn't want to celebrate New Year's. He's like, what's wrong with you? I don't know, I don't. To me, I love spring and that is my new year when things start to bloom again, when the weather gets long, when the days get longer and everything starts to blossom. To me, that's my new year. So. But if you celebrate New Year, Happy New Year to you. There you go. I said it. <laughs> I'm weird. I'm sorry. Um, but it is who I am. I shouldn't apologize. You know what? I'm taking that apology back. I'm not apologizing for who I am and what I think and what I feel. But I do love you. And I do wish you every day of the year a abundant, loving, peaceful day, year, month, whatever. Every day needs to be good for you, even if we're having a bad day. Keep in mind that your soul knows what it's doing and that you will learn, expand, and something good is going to come out of all of this at the end of the day. All right? I'm going to go back to bed, okay? I'm going to go get some more tea and try and get some more sleep. Um, I'm sorry 
if I look like a mess. Um, again, there's the apologies. That's it. I'm done apologizing. I look like a mess. I'm sick. Okay? That's just how it is. Stop it, Emma. I am such an ap apologetic person. I've always learned in school I need to apologize for everything. And that's the one thing I do want to change uh, as I'm moving into a fifth dimensional plane. I need to stop apologizing for things I can't <laughs> control. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. I love you. Stay safe. Figure out what you want to do about these predictions. Do you want to keep them? Do you want to support them? Do you see a positive outcome out of them? Despite the fact that I told them to my mom, and she's like, oh, they're so negative. I said, no. If I really read it, all of this is leading to something good. It's difficult, and yeah, it's going to be painful. But if you look at the outcome, it's all going in a positive direction. So sometimes we need to get through the mud use that mud in order to grow a beautiful flower all right love you guys